Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In the last tutorial on my channel, we learned how to calculate sales last week and also compare the week on week percentage change, right? Now, however, when we created a measure to calculate sales last week and sales week on week change percentage, we noticed that the total amounts here are not matching, right? For example, here we have a lot of uh, uh, data over here but however the sales total the sales this week sales last week and sales wow percentage total seems to be very less when compared to the total weeks over here so in this tutorial we are going to learn how to fix the total issue in the measure uh, while we are calculating that right so let's get started with this tutorial so let me show you the sales this week uh, measure that we created so this is the measure that we created to calculate sales this week right now let us fix the total issue in this particular measure so to fix the issue over here we'll begin with the formula which i'm going to use sum x and then i am going to use the summarize function within summarize i'm going to select the sales table which is 2021 comma and then I need to group by a column over here. Okay. So in this case, uh, we need to group by, I have my week number over here. So I am going to select the week number column over here. Okay. And then I'm going to type in comma. Let us create a virtual table. Okay. Let's call this as uh, sales this week, STW. Okay. Close the quote, comma. And then let's come towards the end of the formula over here. Let's close the bracket for the summarize. Okay. And type in comma. Now for the sum x table, it's asking us to enter the expression. Here we are going to type in STW, which we just created. Okay. And then I'm going to close the bracket and press enter. Let's see what happens. So if you see here, our sales this week total has now changed and it is exactly matching with the sales table, sales column over here. That is what we wanted, right? So by using the SUMX and the summarize function within the measure, you will be able to fix the totals, the incorrect totals within Power BI. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. I make a lot of tutorials on Power BI and also on Excel. Please do consider subscribing to my channel for more tutorials and also you can comment down below if you need any help if you are stuck somewhere within power bi and you're not able to move ahead you can comment down below and i'll be happy to help thank you so much for watching